And we're back with Richard Reviews. Today we are reviewing a book which is possible thanks to YouTube for richardreviews.com on Richard's page here on YouTube. Um, Richard started this YouTube channel in 2014 and today's book that Richard will be reviewing for us is titled The Power of Now, A Guide to Spiritual Enlightenment with a new preface by the author. And this is by Eckhard Tolle. Uh, this is a uh, New York Times bestseller, number one, over three million copies sold. This is uh, pronounced to be one of the best books to come along in years. Every sentence rings with truth and power. Uh, Deepak Chopra, author of The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. So this book right here has a lot of pastime uh, altered uh, with its encouragement. Uh, this book was on Richard's list of two reads for quite some time, and he managed to um, get his hands on this personal copy of his through a private online seller. Um, he ordered it through a private uh, contract, which he was able to obtain through his um, friend and relations in the Yukon Valley in Canada. Uh, Richard is a fan of the uh, almighty important announcements that are made before and after generations of YouTube videos, which Richard is here to prevent you with this vessel of a timeless classic. So we have Richard to thank for that, and uh, Richard wrote extensively about this piece, along with other Eckhart Holtz uh, pieces that Richard has read. Uh, Richard has read a decent amount of them. Uh, and he wrote about them extensively in his blog, which can be found in the link in the description. Um, along with what he wrote about on his blog, which he started in 2014, you can find all of Richard's online debates and um, all of his fundings that he uh, proclaims are through his newest adventures and um, expository uh, projects that he uh, does not forget to mention, but also throws his Patreon uh, information also in the description where you can become a member of his ultimate um, funding project, which uh, will give you satisfied uh, safe sex results for the rest of your life. So we have, um, we have that to thank for Richard. This is Richard's piece which we're going to take a look at on its whole. Um, this is a rare piece, but Richard was able to, um, to obtain it nonetheless, and um, we're going to take a look at it right now. It is a spiritual book um, that does say strange things, uh, but Richard has mentioned before he is in total faith of Mr. Eckhart Tolle, and he salutes his virginism to the local legend of Eckhart Tolle. So let's take a look at this piece. Uh, from the cover, you can tell it's a clean piece. Right off the bat, good dilation. Okay, it's not too dirty. It's good cream, good dilation, with a strong, stern finish right off the top. Okay, it's got good dilation, very nice cream, very good coloring, and the spew is just a little too tight for Richard's liking. But he's uh, willing to put that aside for the named share in this uh, catastrophic event. Unfortunately for Richard, um, the artwork in this piece uh, doesn't have that exact climax power that Richard normally appreciates from a, a powerful novel such as The Power of Now. Um, ultimately, this piece teaches you or the reader to uh, think of your way of thinking into a form of detachment where you can push one way to one way and the other way to the other way. So you have two ways going at the same uh, time. And what you have there is a crossroads of two dilemmas with three notions of fortified exemplary uh, baiting shift, which can be uh, thrown into sort of a meditation practice um, for the liking accounts. Ultimately, uh, living in the present moment and gaining the lights from several of these 
burning balls of fire, which you can formulate into 3D imaging thanks to Elon Musk, um, which was um, solely the um, responsibility of his recent Twitter purchase, which took the lives of uh, 19, 22 year olds um, all the way down to um, Colombian immigrants that have ho heard of the Manifest Steel Field and the Lavins Hotel, which provided a sanctuary for those uh, interested in this reading. So this piece right here, as you can tell, it's got good cream, good cover, as you can see the length of it, it's not too long, just, just the right size that you would need for uh, such a reading, but it does have a good nice cream to it, uh, as you can tell, it's a soft cover, you can see the cream now, good strong cream, good strong cream, good bend, top cream, very well good with the top cream, all in all in great condition, side cream, all in all in great condition, and more side cream. All in all great condition. There is a little brim here, which we can write off as a maybe a postmodernism brim. Even on the side, we have Eckhart Tolle, the power of now. Okay. And on the back, we have more praise for such magnitude of an author as um, Eckhart Tolle himself. There is a 17% increase in the price of this book, uh, which you can see at the top is $15. We'll get into the price and the ultimate summary and synapse of this book in a second, but here we have a picture of the man uh, who wrote this book, Eckhart Tolle, and Mrs. Oprah had something to say for herself. She said, apparently it can transform your thinking. The result, more joy right now. That was from, oh, the Oprah magazine. So, um, take that uh, as you please. And uh, we have Oprah to thank you for this praise, for this piece. Oprah, thank you for this piece. Thank you, Oprah. Let's take a look now. Now up here we have personal growth and spirituality, which is the... Um, acclaimed nature of this piece, and right here we have the price $15 in US, which is nonetheless the wiser. Okay, now if we take a look at here, here is Mr. Eckhart Tolle himself, let's get a good shot of him. He is the one that uh, took his brain and used its power to put words on these pages that we have in front of us. So we have to thank him for this beautiful piece that Richard was able to obtain. Now once we get into it, um, we do have a little starfish cream up here, uh, we can't really tell where that came from, uh, but it's part of the notion that maybe this was uh, pre-owned by uh, Debbie Downer, or somebody who liked uh, giant floating lights in some sort of a pastime, but we'll get to that later on. The author's pre-notes are uh, dignified and beautifully, beautifully written in such a manner that is thoroughly uh, destined to bring in a sort of substantial evidence to what can be shown as mountain lights going up to different types of a daydreaming, which he shows there is no such thing as pain in the early morning of August, which is um, the direct month that the author refers to um, throughout this piece. Um, in terms of length, Right here, we have 229 for page count, so we can uh, articulately say that this piece ultimately um, has a page count, if we estimate, to about 257, uh, incorporating in the notes and the index as well. The uh, author's publication devices and such magnitudes that um, vulgarates the frequent dialectic nature of a piece such as this. So that's going to wrap it up for Richard Reviews. This is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, and uh, this is one of Oprah Winfrey's favorite books. So thank you, Oprah, for this beautiful masterpiece, The Power of Now. Thank you. This is Richard Reviews.